Hello everyone, it is Sapan here from Sapan the TTC Explorer. It is Thursday, June 6. The time is 3.04 p.m. and the temperature is a very nice 25 degrees Celsius. I'm here right in front of the entrance to Scarborough Town Center Shopping Mall in the borough of Scarborough. And I just drove here from my place. It was a half an hour uh, drive from my place at Domino's Finch to here. And for this video, I'll be heading inside the mall, but I will also be making my way to the bus bay platforms at Scarborough Center Station. And again, rest in peace to the Line 3 Scarborough RT. Lots of fun memories I had with Line 3 after 38 years of operation and service since Line 3 opened back on March 22nd of 1985. So before I head inside, I do want to explain to you guys what's going to be happening or what might or, or what might be happening with the TTC. I heard on the news that, that the TTC might go on strike starting tomorrow, being Friday, June 7th, at around approximately 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. once a service ends. But again, the but again the TTC is still unsure whether it should go on strike. But again, let's hope that it won't go on strike. Because if because the thing is, if the DTC does go on strike, that means that there won't be buses, subways, or streetcars operating around the city. And that's going to last for, I would say, at least four days until Monday, June um, June 10th. If that's going to be the case. But then, But then that also means that only taxis, Ubers, and and the warranty York Region Transit Services will be uh, will still be able to operate if the TTC goes on strike uh, this this coming uh, weekend. But again, I was I was I was really shocked when when I heard when I heard on the news saying that that the TTC might go on strike. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, it's going to be or it will be the first time since since the TTC went on strike back in the year of 2008 that was around like 12 years ago or 14 years ago if I can easily remember the exact math but here is the view of the Scarborough Center uh, parking lot and McCowan station is just way down there that used, that used, that used to be the last station on line 3 and I remember doing a video at McCowan Station during the Line 3 is a belayed birthday when when Line 3 officially turned 38 years old. It's just on the east side of McCowan Road, just a bit north of Ellesmere Road, and just south of the 401, which is behind me. Well, yeah, let's head inside the mall. And then we'll head over to the Busby platforms, as I mentioned. But again, I will be super annoyed if the DTC goes on strike because I because you know me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a really huge fan of transit since my YouTube channel is all about the DTC and you know all kinds of transit rides around the system. So I'm not too sure how long this video will be. Maybe, maybe I'll go for like 40 minutes, maybe even less, maybe maybe even more. I mean, who knows? And you can tell that the parking lot looks somehow busy on a Thursday afternoon. It is the start of the rush hour because it is now 3.08 p.m. And everybody's trying to get home from work and school and university and college. But again, as the TTC might go on strike, wheel trans services will be, will, will continue to uh, operate during the duration of 
the TTC going on strike. Well, let's head inside the mall. All right, now we're inside Scarborough Town Center Shopping Mall. And, and for me, it has been a while that I've been inside this mall. I think the last time I was here um, was about uh, two months ago, if not mistaken. But let's see what has changed inside this mall. Look, there is a Jollibee. And I've been inside here many times before. And here they got a really open space where you can walk around. And I think that the actual food court is located below this level. Here's a view of the bus bay platforms at Scarborough, at Scarborough Center Station. And you don't really see that many buses, but I can see a few of them just coming from Brimley Road, looking west towards it. Oh, I see an Orion NG Hybrid on the 132 Milner. I haven't recorded that route before on my channel. But hopefully very soon I will. And what's over here? And here's a view looking east towards McCowan Road. Let's head inside Scarborough Center Station. Just gonna get out of my presser cart for a second. And I remember that the federal event took place at Scarborough Center Station back on, on September 23rd of last year. And I recently did a video. Yeah, rest in peace to Lion 3 Scarborough T. You'll definitely be missed. So let's check out the bus bay platforms at Scarborough Center Station. And we're doing some bus fannings at Scarborough Center 
think almost two years ago, if not mistaken. There's the 133 Nielsen. And here we have the 996 Wilson Express. We head back west to Humber College, which is way in the west end. Number one, three, two, three. But again, it, it will be very sad if the DTC might go on strike because. Because, because because again the TTC like 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 bus operators, uh, subway operator, and streetcar operators they they make really good money, and and I, and I can't really thank them enough for their excellent service, getting people around the city uh, pretty well. But again, fingers crossed that hopefully the the TTC won't go on strike. As the 129A McCowan North bus uh, rolls by. Okay, and I remember recording the 996 Wilson Express. I think two or three times before on my channel. I remember, I remember that the 996 Wilson Express used to terminate at Ellesmere Station right before uh, the Line 3 Scarlet the derailment, which was back on July 24th of 2023. So as of now, uh, the, the 996 Wilson Express is operating, operating between Scarborough Center and Humber College, and only runs during weekdays, Mondays to Fridays, but not on weekends. Yeah, and so far I'm not seeing any buses. And there's like a few buses that are laying over. Or maybe I guess I came here came here at the wrong at the wrong time, but that's alright though. <clears throat> at least so I, I still have time to uh, capture a few buses.
and you can see all these folks waiting for the 60 McCallum bus to arrive from Warren Station. And I recently recorded the 60 McCowan I think uh, two times before on my channel. Yeah, and I mean, still no signs of any buses. Oh, now the wind is starting to pick up. A very nice, cool breeze. Yeah, there's the 920 Durham Region Transit Bus. It's gonna head east to Pickering. That's the 920 uh, Harmony to uh, Pickering, it's the express route. There's a 21C. But yeah, and this Durham bus, this Durham Region Transit must be must been coming from the city of Ajax, which is way east of here. Four B progress one two seven three. I really have to say, I haven't recorded the 134B progress yet on my channel, so that will also be on my next uh, list of groups to record. And look, I see my buddy, there's a new RTK flyer bus. The 903 Canyon Scarborough Express. Number 9404 Again, these buses still look uh, brand new to me. The new Fire RTK bus. There's a 43 Kennedy.
we and hopefully one day I'll I'll try my I'll try my best to record the one three four progress. A Highland Creek. Oh look, there's my my buddy again, the 903B uh, Canyon Scarborough Express. And here we have the 129B Macau North uh, bus. It's gonna head north to Seals. But I mean, I wish we had more buses at the bus bay platforms, but I mean, it's what it is. I used to, um, I, I, I'm explaining to you guys about, about the upcoming or the, or the incoming, the DTC going on strike. Let's walk to the other side. So here we have the Nova Hybrid, a 2019, a 2019 Nova Hybrid number 3401. And the other bus just right, right in front of the Nova Hybrid is the Orion NG Hybrid number 1392. And these two buses are both not in service. And these buses are 
operating out of the Malvern bus garage, which is slightly not not too far from here. It's just it's just a few blocks uh, east of northeast of Scarborough Center Station. It's on Shepherd East, just a bit west of Markham Road. And Scarborough Star Station also serves Go Buses too. And here we have the nine ninety five. Great Mos Express. It's gonna head to U of T Scarborough campus. Look what I found. 9434. There goes my bus. I remember riding these buses, the new Arctic Fire buses. I think one of three or four times before. And they have one of the best air conditioning. And their seats are very, 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 very comfortable as well. And again, that's another reason why I chose to, to do a bus action video at uh, Scarborough Star Station, just in case that just in case that the, the that the TTC uh, might go on strike us right tomorrow. So I just wanted to get at least a few uh, buses just 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 before it might happen. See one bus that's coming from uh, McCallan Road.
Hey, that's my home route. That's a 939B Finch Express, number 3306. It's gonna head, it's gonna head west all the way to Finch West Station. Uh, via Scarborough Center and the current Finch Stations. Jersey, Jersey 9 service for an energy hybrid 1392. And we're about to see the 129 Macau North. It's gonna head west to Kennedy Station. Fit 3124. Oh, and there is the Nine Bellamy uh, bus. I, I recorded the Nine Bellamy two times for my channel. It's four, it's four. But again, I was lucky enough to capture a new RTK flyer bus that at that at the service on the 903 Canyon Scarborough Express back on April 6.
Oh look, I see my buddy once again. New Arcade Fire Bus. I remember seeing the new Arcade Fire, Fire Buses, or, or at least one bus, from the St. Pius Parade back on March 17th during the actual St. Pius uh, Day Parade celebration. Here comes 9446. But I recently recorded the 9412 back on April 9th, which you guys should be able to see on the channel by now. And this bus looks really, really uh, packed. It's coming from, I believe from Centennial College, Progress Campus. That's why you see a lot of uh, U of T students going home from uh, school. And there he goes. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> that bus departed so fast. And there is a 985A Shepherd East Express. And that's a Nova Arcade bus. There's a non service 3598 just laying over. And if you compare the, the regular Arts Kid Nova buses and comparing to the new Arts Kid Flyer buses, I have a feeling that, um, in my opinion, the new Arts Kid Flyer buses looks, looks a bit better than the Nova Arts Kid buses. Because those Nova Arts Kid buses that you guys saw on the 985 Shepard East Express have entered service back in the year of 2013. That was like 11 years ago. And look, number 3401 is still laying over after, after about 20 minutes when I was on the other side of the bus bay platforms. And so far, I'm not running into any dinguses so far, which is pretty good because I'm using my, my DJI Also Pocket 2 camera, and that means no one should realize that I'm recording. Again, so far we have uh, 
two Nova hybrids that are both not in service and laying over. We have one over there and the other one just right in front of me. As the wind starts to pick up again. There's the 133 Nielsen, So I think it has been over 40 minutes. I did say I will, I will end my video at the 40 minute mark. So I'm going to end things off right here. So I hope you enjoyed a brief tour around the mall and the actual tour around the bus bay platforms at Scarborough Center Station in the borough of Scarborough. So I'll be heading back to my car and I'll be and I'll be making my way back home. And if you enjoyed this one, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I have an Instagram account at Sapanda TT6 Explorer. And there is a super thanks button in this video if you wish to say thanks to say thanks that way as well. As we capture some some of the remaining buses. So it has been over 40 minutes. Now it's been almost 45 minutes. Well, I mean, it was worth it. But anyways, I hope everyone has a great Thursday afternoon, such an evening. And, and again, let's hope that the TTC doesn't go on strike starting tomorrow. If so, then it will last for at least four days. Yeah, I want to. But again, I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys next time. Cheers. All right, I'm all in my video right in front of that nine service number hybrid bus two three four zero one. All right, ciao for now.